So this uh, on our break was um, w- good for you, Chris, that we were on our break. Uh, you didn't have to sit here the day after the Patriots got spank by the Bills. Two weeks ago. I oh, mean, that was an absolute spank that the Bills laid on the Patriots. Yeah, it was not good. And coming off the heels of that Colts loss where they were – down 17 to not 20 to is it 20 to nothing right or a lot to a little. whatever the hell it was it was a lot to a little yeah. to the point where i had a, a whole you know tweet queued up in that third quarter of like they're moving on to buffalo mm-hmm. okay because that's their next game I and mean, they got spanked and then for the bills to come in and just put it on new england i mean the i mean uh, damian harris had an excellent game but everybody else yeah. i mean they were out of sync I mean, mac, mac jones, jones looked like a pure stung. rookie and and so, yeah. <sighs> for Belichick to step to the post-game press conference podium and be asked a non-football question, uh, you don't really see that too often, <laughs> but we did. Check it out. Hi. Um, football aside, sorry, but I'm doing a story about <laughs> New Year's resolutions, and I was just wondering if you had any you wanted to share with your fans and our readers. Yeah. No, not right now. Okay. Thanks. Maybe next week. Maybe, Maybe next ne- week. Wow, that was nice. Now, of you. you know, again, as you know, Bill apologized to reporters for not answering questions the week before for Indianapolis. So maybe he's turning over a new leaf, which in a way, the answer in itself, uh, potentially revealing his New Year's resolution. Good point. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah I hear you. Uh, but when he said maybe next week, that was kind of like that small percentage of 1% that Jordan left the door open for years ago when he retired, right? For the second time, right? Right, this is what he said. So um, the reporter came back, actually did it again. Good for her. Later in the week, press availability, roll it. It's New Year's Eve day. Um, have you had a chance to consider any New Year's resolution since I asked you on Sunday? Yeah, they, they would all be personal, so it probably wouldn't mean anything to you anyway. Thank you. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> <laughs> and the smile, a little smile. Well, I mean, but that's the point. Is that they're personal, so it would mean something to us because we're wondering what somebody who is this, one of the most successful individuals and, of all and time, private. right, is thinking. Right. So, give it up. I found out who this person is. Apparently, I think she was stringing for People magazine. Okay. Uh, give it up to Juliet Pennington of the Attleboro Sun Chronicle. Where's Attleboro? Is that is that it's a New a Mass- England? It's in Massachusetts. Okay. Yeah. So she's got stick to itiveness. Um. She's got one strike left. She is not asked. She has yet to return to ask the question. Next to Pawtucket. So no, really. No. On the at Massachusetts Rhode Island. Okay. Border. Does it? So does that mean she's asked this of Veritech at some point in time, or uh, maybe? Uh, Who's the Paw Sox uh, uh, manager now? Because she could go pleasure. there. Because the New England Patriots boss ain't biting. I mean, <laughs> the 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 gumption is uh, beyond impressive, beyond impressive. So this may not be uh, the same intensity or level of interest for the readership (laughs) of whoever Juliet Pennington was penning this tome about, but we've come up with our New Year's resolutions. Because why not? And um, we've, we've got our own, inspired. By Bill Belichick <laughs> refusing to share his. Maybe next week. <laughs> and then next week comes and he shuts it down. All right. Uh, do you have? Uh, okay, very good. Ooh, rock very rock and roll yeah. version. Uh, Brockman, you want to? Let's do Brockman, TJ. I'll go and then Del Tufo oh, will finish up strong. Last. Okay. Right. You ready, Chris Brockman? Go for it. Sure. Yeah, I mean, these are personal, and I, I made mine personal. Okay. Uh, last year, we were able to take Cage to his first baseball game hey. at Dodger Stadium. So this year, I would like to go with my son to at least one game each in each of the four major sports. Uh-huh. How nice. Okay. So I'm going to hit them all with him this year. Um, it's going to be tough because he's kind of entering terrible two stage. Oh. Uh, 
So sitting may be an issue, but I want to try to do it. Here's the thing. For kids that age, the fact that the seats go up and down is fascinating. Okay. Okay. Um, and then when in doubt, screen time, peanut M&Ms. That'll get screen you through. Screen time, peanut. Uh, and bring some cars. Bring some sort Good of man. like, a, you know, my... Hot my, 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 wheels. Oh, yeah, absolutely. Yeah, okay. Absolutely. And uh, Good I think your problem is uh, baseball's locking out. So and it might, might be a late that, summer situation. Okay. So but. it's a long year. Well, it's a long. That's what I mean, I got a whole year. Okay, very good. A whole year. I'm I like do my that. Best. TJ my Jefferson, best. what's your New Year's resolution? I, I, I did not expect you to go so real with yours on now. Yeah, one. I, <laughs> real. that's a tone setter. <laughs> right now, you didn't I feel see coming. Now I feel a little stupid with, with no, mine. No. Oh, but you know, I, you know, I'm a big fan of Calvin and Hobbes, the cartoon uh, back in the day. And <laughs> oh, oh, what? Cal- Calvin Probably had this. So is Taylor, my eight year old. Yeah, and Calvin <laughs> had a cartoon two months that said I resolved to make no resolutions and that's usually how I am about you know resolutions but okay. I'll give you one you know I got a thing with reading the comments on social media oh, you and really do. I really do and you know the thing is I, I get confused sometimes because people on one sentence will say that like the Cowboys suck and they haven't won anything in 25 years and then the next sentence call me a bandwagon hopper and it's really hard for me to understand how those two things can both be correct so I figured I got to do something like who am I going to argue with about football right and no I I've come up with a tier system, right? Much like the club. I've broken this down into four tiers. And oh. if your team falls into these tiers, we can talk or not talk. Okay. Oh boy. Now, tier one is <laughs> if your team has three or more Super Bowl wins, let's talk. You're in the VIP club with me. Okay. Dallas has five. We haven't won in a while, but we still have five. That means the Patriots, That's the Steelers, the 49ers, the Packers, the Giants, the Broncos, the Washington <laughs> football team, and the Las Vegas the Raiders all have at least three. Let's open up the VIP line. You can come in. We can chat a little bit. If you want to talk trash to me, fine. I'll listen to it. Now, tier two is you actually make it into the club, right? That means you have at least one or two Super Bowls. I will engage you because your team has won. Wow. But I only go so far, and that's the Dolphins, Colts, Chiefs, Ravens, since Bucks, Rams, Seahawks, <laughs> Eagles, Bears, exactly. Jets, and what the Saints, doing? right? Now, tier three, you have zero wins. That means you got to the Super Bowl, but you don't win. You're, you're waiting in line, waiting all right? Waiting in line. So if you want to try to talk trash with me uh, and you don't have a Super Bowl win, even though you win, I'm going to be like, wait in line. That's the Vikings, Bills, Bengals, Panthers, Falcons, Chargers, Titans, and Cardinals. Now, I got into an argument on Twitter once with a fan, this and I was insane. like, your team's never even been to the Super Bowl. So... You just stay at home. Don't even get dressed. Don't shower. Don't put on the suit. Don't put on the suit. Don't, 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 yeah, don't, just don't, just stay at home. Drink at home. That's the Browns, Lions, Texas, and Jags. I'm not even discussing it with you because you've never been in and you ain't getting in the club. And that's my resolution how I'm going to stay sane in 2022. Wow. My God. He hasn't been to the Super Bowl. Hey, baby, but we stay there rich. Been, wait, let me do the math correctly. It here. does not. Do, let me do the math correctly. Rich, there's you, been a quarter century that's, plus that's of fine. New Year's resolutions for planet fan, Earth. And by my tier ranking, I, you are I in the club, win, but I'm in VIP, line. so I'm not listening to you. Because I didn't you're t- win. So according to you, I've got to wait in line. No, I've no. Got one the Jets have won Super Bowl. Outside, Rich. We didn't win it. No, we did win it. Yeah, obviously. Uh, you don't know your own team's history? What's going on here? It's been so long. Yeah, you want to talk about long. You're in the club. No, we want it. Okay, but good. we're behind yeah, the rope. So, all right. All right. And that's it. That was. I got confused about <laughs> because I got. Away. Here's my. Here's my. Here's that my New Year's trip. resolution. <laughs> here's, mine. here's mine. Here's mine. Here's mine. You all know how I spent the last month of 2021. Oh, so oh, you, much. You, so much. Feeling yourself. Okay. So much ass talking. And then, and then, my team in the last day of 2021 get. Spanked out of the college football playoff. Okay, spanked. So here's what I'm going to do. Uh, moving forward mm-hmm. in 2022, I'm going to stay humble about my college football team. Uh, I'm going to stay I'm, I'll be more humble about my I college football this man. team. You know why? New check because part. I'm just going to act like we've been there before. Because <laughs> we have been there before. Which means you can already see the struggle I'm going to have. I don't to like make this. sure my New Year's oh. resolution can stay put in his feelings uh, rich eisen was my favorite rich eisen uh, I'm in, no 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 I'm, I'm in my feelings which is i, I i've been there before big 10 <laughs> champion made the college football playoff semifinal for the first time it's nothing is what you're saying beat ohio state for the first time since being a host of this show you know, so i'm gonna stay humble about my football team that's not what i wanted to hear no, no, but no, okay I can stay it's, humble it's your resolution that's my resolution 
What's your resolution, Mike? Well, since most resolutions uh, get broken very quickly, oh, <laughs> my resolution is one of those. Sean, our, uh, our esteemed colleague, yes. made a great graphic. Uh, if Mike can put it on. I'm going to try to pay more attention. Yes. During the show. <laughs> and, pay more attention uh, during the show. I'm, uh, <laughs> by the way, I, I have a bonus with this. I'm off <laughs> Pub to Pub. He doesn't want to follow me. Oh. I'm his father. I mean, I look, we look alike. He won't follow me on Twitter. How many people does Doug, Doug the, Pug. the Pug follow on Twitter? Uh, he follows enough that he should be following me, and I'm kind of pissed about it. So, Mike, you want a trick to that? Unfollow him, follow him right back. What do you mean? Because you'll go to the top we'll of the mentions. We'll go to mentions. the top of the mentions, and you'll see that you're, I mean, you got, you got the blue check I mean, mark, and he's going to follow you. We interact. We're family. I mean, he doesn't follow me. I'm, I'm upset. I understand but, that, Mike. Uh, so, that, so that's a helpful step is that you won't be... I'm, I'm not going to be looking at Doug the Pug. Paying yeah, wait, less attention to the show. He follows less than 1,000 people. Oh. I should be one of those. Wow. <laughs> Why am I not? All right, very good. Good job, everybody. That was nice. Now I'm not going to pay attention. So I'm, I'm in the club. I'm in the club. <laughs> You're, in the You're in the club, Rich. You're in the club. So 50 cents. So we can talk. We, we, the thing Did is, you say one to two just because you, that would let me in the club no, and you knew you I won. would have a problem? You actually have won a Super Bowl. Uh, yeah, and yeah. Super Bowl three. Yeah, yeah you won one. So Brockman's in the DJ booth. You will get We're a, modic you will get a yeah, modicum right. of my engagement. You know? He's in the booth with me. I will engage to a point. You're in the booth, too. All right, let me get Juliet. What's her name again? <laughs> I should have written it down. <laughs> oh, the reporter? <laughs> yeah. Take that one to to uh, Adel's, Adelboro. Uh, Julia Pennington. There we go. There's four There's four new uh, New Year's resolutions for you to fill your story with. That Please. Please put us in. Right? That would be great. Because Bill's not playing along. <laughs> well, they, would, they would be personal, so no, <laughs> well, they it doesn't matter to you. Oh, my <laughs> God. Maybe next week. <laughs> Can you imagine you asked that of Bill Belichick after a loss to the Bills, <laughs> which he's only had like a handful of, time, like a handful of times <laughs> since been a, being a head coach in New England. That is a that is a rough one. <sighs> How nervous was she to ask the question? I don't again, think she. Though? No, I mean, probably not. She sounded pretty like she was really pretty. Yeah, no, yeah, yeah. Well, someone had to have said Football to her. Aside, somebody had to say that started. to her, right? Like, yeah. what are you doing? I mean, you got to know when you're going to Bill to be ready. Because he's going to... I mean, everybody was ducking for cover on that one. That oh, yeah. Amazing. You turn your head. He he is intimidating to ask. When we were at Upfronts in uh, Atlanta, I staked out right in front of his podium so our camera crew could come in. Oh, to me, yeah, And was he amazing. was five feet from me, and I thought I had a pretty, like, decent question. And he looked over in my direction, and I just went... I wanted to ask him about renaming the trophy, and I chickened out. <laughs> well, Irvin says that it should be renamed the Belichick Trophy. But Bill is like not trying to ever yeah, hear he that. Like, so. Bill never hear He'd that. never want that. I don't think he'd want. I it. think he'd prefer to answer his New Year's Eve yeah, resolution. His New Year's right. resolution. I'm gonna be more humble about my team. You know? I know, Rich. I was the last month of this show was so much fun with you just peacocking and then walking around with your chest out. And I was hoping yeah, we get. I was hoping you keep that energy no, for yeah. the next I'm twelve act months. Like I've been there before. You can still do that though. That's what I would do. That's fine. Look at him. He has not won in 25 yeah, years. And he's, he's, like, he's sitting he's up right there. He's got yes, on how to engage him. Exactly. Him. <laughs> exactly. He's like, I'm in. By the way. Don't matter. Next time we get Stephen A. Smith on the show, oh, uh -huh. we are going to have you describe to him this New Year's resolution. Oh, and fantastic. that is going to be, as the kids say, lit. I cannot wait Ooh. for that moment. Amazing. We must book him immediately. Same, hey, it's just how I for feel. that reason. Well, hey, like I said, it happened oh, once. Oh God! Somebody, it was a Carolina Terrible. Panther fan was really trying to talk trash to me, and I was like, Love "Why it. am I arguing with you? Like, why am I arguing with you?" <laughs> hey, you watched all the way to the end. Thanks for that. Watch more right here.